want to give you some prophetic words that the Lord has been speaking to my heart uh, concerning 2020. Uh, we've been giving a lot of prophecies lately as the Lord continues to speak to us in parts. And sometimes uh, the prophetic words will come in pieces and bits. Uh, and then we are obedient to the Lord uh, to either give the prophecy as the Lord directs or as we are directed to pray over the prophecies. We are able to pray over those prophetic words that God tells us to pray for. Uh, and sometimes the Lord will give you prophetic words that He wants you to share with the nation. And sometimes the Lord will give you prophetic words that He will desire for you to pray uh, in private and pray for. Uh, so again, today here, uh, I want to share with you some of the prophecies uh, that I do believe uh, uh, under the conviction of the Holy Spirit that I need to share with you. Uh, previously, uh, we have given prophecies about uh, 2020 election, uh, or I would say 2020 re-election of President Donald Trump. And uh, if you watch our videos that are actually down in the description, we put links there for the videos. Um, and the prophecies that we have already given. Uh, if you watch a video that we did last time uh, about 2020 prophecy, uh, in that video I gave a lot of details of how the Democratic Party uh, was going to crumble from within and how the party is going to destroy itself from within. And that those who are opposing, uh, those who are fighting Donald Trump, uh, those who have hate-filled hearts, uh, towards Donald Trump and how many of them were going to bury uh, their political careers. Uh, the ramification uh, of those words was severe. Uh, it wasn't long after that that we have seen a lot of um, you know, politicians uh, either shifting from one party to the other and uh, we're going to see a lot of politicians uh, you know, hate-filled um, you know, and their hearts bitter uh, towards the president. Uh, th this hate, this hate that is being driven by demons uh, has nothing to do with God. Uh, you cannot have hate for somebody and then come out and say, I'm praying for you. It, it doesn't really make sense. And so if you go back to that uh, prophecy for 2020, I talked in details about uh, some of the things that are going to happen in 2020. Now, I don't want to go back to those. It's, it's for you to watch that video and fully understand that some of the things that I spoke uh, about on that video are already taking place as we are speaking right now. Now, today in the morning, uh, right before I woke up, all right, I had another dream that I think is very, very important to share with you. Uh, in this dream, I saw uh, Donald Trump uh, wearing a white suit uh, in front of a massive crowd of people. Uh, then he started dancing with his hands. So I started seeing him dancing with his hands. He started moving his hands as he was dancing. The crowd joined in the dancing and the whole crowd was dancing with him and rejoicing. But he was wearing a white suit in this dream. He was wearing a white suit. I've never seen Donald Trump wear a white suit. So the reason why I saw him in this dream wearing a white suit, um, I believe is a sign of what God's going to do in his life in the second term, all right? As he serves his last term, I believe that God's going to bring him to a place of righteousness. That white suit is a symbol of God changing the garments that he's wearing. I believe that God's going to change him into a new man spiritually as we continue to pray for him as a church and trust God to completely rehabilitate his soul. We're going to see a new man. Uh, we're going to see a new man, a new man that, that is more spiritual uh, in his last term as he serves. So I saw him wearing this white suit and it was dancing and it was full of joy. Uh, it wasn't sad, his face wasn't frowning. It was very, very happy and excited and dancing wearing this white suit. Again, I've said the white suit is a picture of God completely changing the posture of his soul. God completely rehabilitating his soul and turning him into a spiritual person, okay? And we're going to see that on his outward demeanor, all right? Now, as he was dancing, 
and everybody was dancing with him he came off the stage and people started joining and dancing around him all right so this is the word that the lord spoke about donald trump in 2020 as he serves his last term after winning the 2020 election he says the 2020 uh, will be a year of celebration uh, for donald trump he will dance in victory celebrations will erupt in the nation as he will start celebrations will erupt in the nation as the nation will unite to celebrate with him he will start the dance then the nation will follow in his moves all right so the nation will join him in the dancing he will begin with a dance and then the nation will follow in his moves and then the word of the lord say victory after victory will follow him and it will cement his legacy and his leadership leading to 2020 election as i've already said in the other video he will win the 2020 election with a landslide i also said on the other video that the republicans are going to recapture the house and the senate here's another part of this prophecy the 2020 election will be won uh, by donald trump it will be another time for celebration and this time his enemies will play catch up after 2020 election his enemies will play catch up with him they will be far ahead of them and they'll be playing catch up as the church continues to play as the church continues to pray uh, for our president and his family God's gonna begin a transformation in his spiritual life this spiritual transformation will be seen visibly on his outward actions he'll become more prayerful and more righteous I hear the Lord saying do not rule out the transforming power of God upon this president as the church prays for him to accomplish the mission that God has placed him in this position to accomplish the dance that I saw President Trump dancing in this dream is victory dance. I saw him do a victory dance. He did it while dressed in white. Get ready to see a righteous Trump. Get ready to see a spiritually transformed Trump. 